So the last of the flat trials then is a one mile one furlong two rod race. Back at Brooklyn in the top one is Fidel for Alex Cherry Licorice, Darren Thompson, Lethem Diamond, David Robertson, Slambo, Joshua Sutherland, Ben Jarney, Paul Rhodes, Casablanca, Ryan Tamasibi, Modesto Cherry for Vinnie Gerard, The Girls Philly, Craig Beckwith, Shorter Dream, Dream D. Hooley, Sequel Eclipse for Craig Allen, Across the Lines, Leon Van Rensburg, Yellow River, Martin Lederman and Alalia, Michael Scarlett. They're all in then. Started on a bit of a bend and waiting for the starter to press the button. And away they go. And who's going to be the first one to show? It looks like Shorter Dream and across the lines might be disputing it. Shorter Dream going to try and cut across to the fence, but Slambo doesn't appear to be having any of it and has got that rail and has got that lead. So Slambo, then it is in the lead. Sequel Eclipse has gone second. The horse is pulling for its head in front. Jockey wants to restrain it a little bit. There are only two year olds, these are in, but Ben Jarney's moved through nicely into second. Licorice is third. Then the girls, Philly after that one. Then Modesto, Cherry looking towards the back. Casablanca and Fidel are the back two. But it's Slambo who leads by a couple of lengths to Licorice in second. Then Benjani in third. The girls fillies after that one. Sequel Eclipse is next. Across the lines has got the rail, but has got about four or five lengths to make up on the leader, Slambo. So Slambo it is then showing the way. Then as they race down towards the five furlong mark, Slambo it is in front from Licorice in second. The girls fully look at across the lines beginning to eat up the ground on the rail. And towards the back, Fidel is the one that's just struggling a bit. Couple of grace towards the back as well. Oh, Letham Diamond and Yellow River, but it's Slambo in front from Licorice second. Across the lines third. Majesto Cherry is fourth. Then comes the girls fully and sequel eclipse. Ben Jarnish just hit a flat spot. Alaley is going to try and get through on the inside. Tucked in the middle of the pack is Sean a Dream in Yellow River. And also being pushed along is Casablanca and Letham Diamond. But Slambo passes the three pole with a lead of about a length. So across the lines in second. Licorice is third. Then the girls fully and then sequel eclipse. Then comes Ben Jarney, Modesto, Cherry and Lali is trying to get into it. The one that's rolling around a bit wide on the track is Yellow River. That's running a bit green. The one that's dropped right out is Sean a Dream and Fidel. But it's Slambo who's still in front. And as they race in the final third and a half. Slambo now being pressed by across the lines and sequel Eclipse. Ben Jarney and Licorice are there as well. They're into the final furlong then now and suddenly sequel Eclipse takes it up. Slambo's beaten. Slambo's beaten. It's Licorice. Ben Jarney. Sequel Eclipse and sequel Eclipse is in front. Ben Jarney's trying to fight back. It's sequel Eclipse from Ben Jarney's a race up towards the line. Ben Jarney just might have got up on the line. Ben Jarney and sequel Eclipse and another fast finishing David Robertson horse has probably got up to be third just poked its head in front Ben Jarney looked beaten about a furlong and a half out but has come back don't recognise those colours can't quite remember who it was <laughs> was the trainer from the beginning memory of a goldfish and it's Ben Jarney it's Paul Rhodes well that's not normal Paul Rhodes silks so he's going to try and trick us all by having new colours so Paul gets his customary win on the trials then so Ben Jarney the winner for Paul Rhodes sequel Eclipse is second for Craig Allen Letham Diamond for David Robertson who looks like he's got some really good fast finishing closers this season across the lines for Leon van Rensburg was fourth and Licorice ran all sorts of a good race for Darren Thompson in fifth